Hello everyone, welcome to Turmoil. This is a game I picked up during the Steam sale. Uh, it's basically just a oil tycoon type of game. It's pretty fun, so I thought I would give it a go. Let's go ahead and start the game. We'll go to a brand new campaign. We'll do normal mode first. This Joshua guy is pretty cool. We'll pick him. So this is the start. We are a future oil baron. This is the mayor of the future town. And he's just going to kind of show us how stuff works. So we'll go to our first site just to kind of show us how stuff is. Uh, oil mining operations, follow the instructions. Before we can start drilling, we have to know where the oil is. So we'll hire this guy. To find it for us. I just gotta wait for him to find a spot here. This, oh, here we go. He found something. So we'll take an oil derrick up here. Oil rig. And we'll plop it down right where he says. And then we'll just take the pipe. Tell it to drill down to the oil. See, he'll stand there just waving until you pick up the oil. And there it is. Black gold. And this guy is willing to buy our oil. So it'll have this little horse wagon come up. And it'll just take the oil from the oil rig over to Left Incorporated. And it's selling for 80 cents a barrel. Yeah, I get back up to 1300. Alright, we're almost there. So this is basically just how the game works. It's not, not too complex. Pretty easy to understand. And we'll unlock stuff as the game goes on too. Up here we'll have more choices. And there we go. Let's head back to town. Alright, and as he said, there are rivals. We are fighting three other people. That's me, I'm Joshua. Cattle Rancher. This guy is a famous sailor. I don't know if he's famous, but... Uh, she used to be a lawyer. And she, she reminds me of Peggy Hill from King of the Hill. Alright. We get our first land on the house. Oh, it's automatically picked too. And this is the bank. We have a bank account now. We can see our last... Uh, our last season's oil profits or losses. And we also take out loans here. But we'll not do a loan right now. So we're going to go start getting oil. We take 2,000 each time we go out. And we're starting. So we'll hire this guy to see. Maybe we'll hire two. We'll double the oil we get, hopefully. They're walking around with their little sticks. Searching for the the goo, Texas tea. All right, we found something. Oh, we found two somethings. We'll buy a horse and wagon. Okay, so now we get the store all oil. And the price does go up and down, so we just gotta watch. And then, this is how we'll... Say, you know, sell here, or wait. So once it's March 31st, the uh, level is over. What's this guy want? Okay, that's the banker just telling us about the loan. 
And we got oil. We'll buy two more horses. So now we just gotta wait for the prices to go back up. And then we can start selling our our super goo. Black gold. That's pretty good. Let's start selling this. So see we'll just up the wagons that sell over here and now they should just all rush over there to sell we're gonna make some big money on this look at that dollar 12 a barrel this takes place in like the 1800s so there's not gonna be hundred dollar barrels of oil that's pretty good 118 maybe we'll, oh it's going down a little bit maybe we'll buy one more We'll stop selling maybe around 90 cents a barrel. Because we do need some money. Oops. See, if there's more horses than are selling it, that can sell at the store, they'll dump it in the old tank. And it's getting low, isn't it? We'll store it for a little while. We got nice big tanks to store it in. We do gotta be careful because we gotta watch out for when the lease on this land is up. Then we can upgrade stuff too eventually. We'll be able to get bigger, bigger and better wagons, bigger and better oil storage, upgrade our, our uh, oil wells. There's a lot we can do. We might have to build a second one actually at this rate. Okay, it's coming back up now. Up in that sweet Texas cream. I don't know that many slang for slang words for oil. So we're kind of just making some up as we go. All right, we got a month left. All right, let's do this. Let's we gotta get all this oil emptied. Here we go. Can we? Oh, it's going down again. It doesn't matter though, because we only have ten. We got like twenty days left. Less than that. So we're having a fire sale. Everything must go. Let's get rid of all this delicious oil. This music's pretty jumping, isn't it? Do, 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 do. 70 cents, 69 cents. Well, it's stabilized. We're making some good money though, look at that. We're up to almost $3,000. We started with 2,000, so that's a thousand bucks profit. Got just a few days left, come on. And then once the lease is up, it'll show you the the map there. That was all the potential oils we could have had. Here's the summary. So that's our profit. Supply. Look at that money. No spillage today, that's pretty good. That's not bad. We spent the most on wagons and rigs. Beautiful screenshot, not bad. And we made the most out of all of our competitors. That guy lost 500 bucks, that sucks for him. Not bad. And we got Fred here. He'll let us upgrade our stuff. We'll hold off on that for now. So now we'll go back to the town hall, go to the land auction. Now we got a bid for land. And then I'll show you how much oil was in each area. Let's go for this, right by the river. You can try to uh, steal people's land or you know outbid them and take it from them it gets very expensive though so we're pretty much ready for uh, 
Should we upgrade? This might not be a bad upgrade. This does just have more, like I said, just joints in the pipes. So we can split off a little bit. We'll give that a try. Actually, we probably should have not done that. We should have done the other one first, make the pipes bigger. A lot more oil to come in. So now we get to the, the June. And now we have a competitor. We have Wright Incorporated. So when the price goes down at one, it might go up at the other. So we got to switch between the two. Who's ever selling the oil at the best price? Now we wait. Where is the oil going to be? Right there. Now connect three pipes to each joint. There we go. We got another one. We'll store some oil for now. Let's hope this is close to the surface because we don't have a lot of money. I really don't want to take out a loan. This is about as deep as we can go. Nope. Oh, here we go. Dollar five a barrel. Let's do this. Dollar eight, dollar ten. See, he'll stay there until. Oh, dollar seventeen, dollar eighteen. We're getting rich. Where are you, oil? Here we go. That is $1.26 a barrel, that's perfect. Aw, oh, it's going down. Oh, $1.27, we're doing okay. We're getting some money now too, let's see if we can maybe hire... Try to get uh, some more oil sold while the price is really high. We do have till the end of June now, at least. We do have more time. Maybe we'll stop when it goes under a dollar. Uh, maybe 90 cents. We do need money. Up to a thousand, eleven hundred. Alright, that'll be the last barrel for now. So we'll have that set to zero so they stop dumping oil. Okay, this is in a bad spot, isn't it? It's gonna be right below him. We can do all kinds of crazy angles with the pipe, so it's not too... too much of a concern. Here's a date, March. And oil is really cheap now, isn't it? And there we go. And then he'll slowly just vanish out of existence once uh, once you actually drill into the oil pocket that he discovered. She's around to forty-one cents, forty cents a barrel at both companies. We can't afford another thing at the moment, so hopefully it goes up soon. And you can, if you hit X, it will increase the speed. So if you kind of want to fast forward a little bit. Alright, we're going to have to sell here. It's not as high as I would like. Well, now it is. Let's get this oil out of here. Fifteen is the max horses we can have at the moment. 
Oh, here we go. And then we can just switch like that. As... Eh, we're not gonna do it. It's not worth it. Our lease is almost up. We made quite the profits. 8,000 already? We'll just keep some of we have. Oh, there's a couple of big ones. Look at that. So, $8,891.70 profit. That's pretty good. And out of the four competitors, we made the most. Oh, nice to meet you, Edward. Um, he's a handyman. Alright, we'll check back with him later. This may be a good time to take a break. So, as always, uh, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I do hope to see you next time.